Hello friends. Today we'll be seeing a small video demo on red cell priming in plasma exchange. Red cell priming is usually done in patients with very low hemoglobin or in pediatric patients with very low blood volume. Today our demo will be using the Spectra Optia apheresis system. So like any plasma exchange, we begin with entering the patient data. In this case, we'll be entering whether the patient is a male or female, height, weight, and hematocrit to calculate total body volume. So in this case, it was a one-year-old female child, the height of 75 centimeter, weight 11 kg, hematocrit 36%. The system will not automatically calculate TBV like an adult. So we'll be manually calculating it. So we considered, we considered 80 ml per kg, calculated it like 11 kg, so 80 ml per kg, so 880 ml. So once we enter the TBV, the system will ask us to re-enter the TBV in order to confirm it. So once the TBV is confirmed, the system will give us the instruction to consider a custom prime. The system will tell us that the total body volume is 880. Therefore, the tubing will consume almost 185 ml, which is up to 21% of the total body volume. So please consider doing a custom prime. So if we agree to the decision and press an S, the custom prime program will be inbuilt within the program of the plasma exchange. Like any other plasma exchange, we have to give the replacement fluid saline albumin in this case and the fluid balance that is 100% in this case. Once we enter these details, we have to enter the run values of the total procedure. So we will be doing a 1.5 plasma volume exchange in this patient. So once that is confirmed, the steps of custom prime will begin. Like any other plasma exchange, we have to clear the saline from the drip chamber in order to prime the inlet and outlet line. The inlet and outlet line will be primed as informed by the system. Once this is done, the data for custom prime has to be entered. Based on what custom prime we are doing, the fluid type has to be selected. If it is RBC, we have to choose the, we have to enter the RBC unit hematocrit. For any fluid, we have to enter the inlet flow rate and the volume of fluid we are willing to provide for custom prime. In this case, we'll be using an RBC. The hematocrit of the unit is given as 60. The flow rate that we set is around 50 ml per minute. The volume 250 is taken from the PRC unit. It will have the volume mentioned in it. Once we give a confirm, it will show us the circuit that we have to maintain. As we can see, the inlet line depicted by the red clamp is connected to the PRC unit. The outlet line, which is depicted by the blue clamp, is connected to an empty bag. And it will ask us to unclamp all the lines. So in order to maintain this circuit, these are the items that we will require. A PRC unit, a blood transfusion set, a Romson IV set, a transfer bag, and two three-way connectors. Now let us see how the circuit is made. The PRC unit is connected to the red inlet line through the BP set. The transfer bag is connected to the blue outlet line using the Romson IV set. For visual purposes, we have kept all this in a flat surface. As we can see, the PRC is connected to the BT set. The blood transfusion set is primed with the PRC unit first and then it is connected to the inlet line depicted by the red clamp using a three-way connector. On the left, the transfer bag connected through the Romson IV using a three-way to the outlet line depicted by the blue clamp. Once the circuit is done, the PRC unit on the transfer bag is hanged accordingly. Now we press the start custom prime key. Once the custom prime has begun, 
it will show the system will show us how much time is remaining how much volume of custom prime is being done at the moment what is the inlet flow rate that we have set once the custom prime is completed like as we can see here the prc through the inlet line enters the centrifuge the whole system is primed with the prc the outlet line is then connected to the transfer bag where we can see the remaining blood being collected once the custom prime is done like any other plasma exchange procedure we are supposed to hand the replacement fluid Following me, we are supposed to connect the lines to the patient and start the procedure. Hope this was helpful. Happy learning. Thank you.